everybody, and welcome to the main event of RTX Sydney. Yes, you are here to watch an arms boxing tournament featuring the finest athletes across all of Sydney, Australia, provided that Sydney, Australia is constrained entirely to this stage. First up, we have a competitor hailing from Los Angeles, California, Bruce Green. Look at those arms. Look at those arms go. <laughs> He's ready to fight, everybody. And next, one of the top combatants of the entire planet, hailing from Los Angeles, California, Adam Kovic. Nice arms. Show off those arms, Adam. Yes. Look at him. What an animal, ready to murder. And somehow in the cross-gender division league, hailing all the way from Los Angeles, California, it's Elise Willems. Wow, wonderful arms. Look at that old-fashioned stance. Look at her go. She knows Giving him a little place. salt and pepper. <laughs> and finally, hailing from L Los Angeles, California, uh, perhaps the only one of us that could actually be a real boxer, James Willems. I take offense to that. Oh, sorry, Bruce. Bruce definitely has a stature for it. Bruce has a strong jaw. <laughs> yeah, he's taking hits on his entire life. Let's, let's do it. Rolling through it. All right, so just to let you guys know how the tournament's going to work, uh, we're going to pair off, so I guess, hey, we're already divided here. So we're going to say Bruce and Elise face each other in arms. Then uh, James and Adam face each other. The winners of those matches will then fight, and the winner of that match will face me. Lawrence, he's my boss. Wait, so you just get a bye? You just I get do. A I get buys bye? all the way to that the end. That doesn't seem fair. And then at the end, I get to make as many excuses as I want. That's how we're done. I don't, I don't want it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. This is also going to be a showcase of the new content arms. There's uh, five new characters, here. and we're going to be playing exclusively with those characters. So not, not only are we absolutely mastered on arms itself, but we are also, individually, each one of us, experts on these new characters. So you're going to be seeing nothing but top-level play. Are you guys all very familiar with arms? Yes, good. Yes, They're the yes. things you use to pick up stuff. We've all got them. Unless you don't, I'm sorry. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this action going. We've got Elise Willems in the red corner, Bruce Green in the blue corner. They're picking their characters now. Elise with Springtron. He's got a wonderful squirrely pompadour. He looks like the uh, punch man. Punch man? Ooh, yeah, kind of. Clown. Ooh. Bruce, you won't be clowning around when you're beating her into the ground. <laughs> That's your wife. Oh. Right, if you uh, just somebody pick the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Yes, hailing all the way from all Spring right. Stadium. At least with a hometown advantage. Uh, so oh. yes, uh, so it's it's partially motion controlled. So hold hold don't them up. Face like you're a boxer. No, don't face each other. That's a I mean, bad you could. Yeah, you will hit arms. each other. Look at the game. All right, so oh, there you go. So throw one at the other to throw a punch. Ooh. So you vicious move, flurry too. of attacks. Use right. the sticks. You can use the sticks to move back and forth. Don't just stand on either side punching at each other. Sticks. It's a uh, motion control. So Bruce, if you want to move left or right, tilt. Hold them up. It's kind of working. Ooh, a throw deflected. It's like they're pros. Oh, you what's want that a guard? Box? Tilt your hands Punch together. The box. There's a whirly ball. It's exploded. The beauty of the switch is that it's portable. So <laughs> Bruce was not... playing. And the entire ride here, <laughs> and he was almost a split oh! off the plane. Oh, wow. Interesting strategy there. Both opponents just backing each other into a corner and punching from across the stage. That's correct. You can Gold. see that this is master class strategy on display. But Bruce Green comes out with the initial victory. Right, but who does the audience want to win? Elise? <laughs> or Bruce? Ooh, that's yeah, close. That's Bruce. That's absolutely that's very Bruce. close. All right, Wait, Bruce moves on to the next round. Bruce will face the victor. Wait, is it, isn't it best of two or best of oh, three? Oh, is it? Oh, now we're... Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. You do, you do talkie talkie. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Look, guys, I couldn't beat my boss, so I had to lose. He's going to change fighter. Yeah, At least is right. I would have fired her. <laughs> I would have had to have lived in Australia forever. <laughs> I thought this was a Me Too situation. You well, are can't definitely go wrong with a doctor. Not Mm. Max Brass. Yeah, who's going to pick Max oh, Brass yeah. and Dr. Coyle? Of course. Masungo. 
sung. Oh. oh. Competitors proving little... that they can fight on any battleground choosing random. Expressing their absolute mastery over the game right there. A bit of mind games to lead this match off. Don't hit me with those controllers, okay? <laughs> That's dangerous. James. Ooh, selecting a mix of gloves. Yeah, James is trying to strategize. Looks like we've got some vertical pylons oh, moving Adam's through the field. Adam's a little slinky with the stinky right. there. Going in for the throw, but blocked. Look out, it's a... Oh, here Berger. it comes. And it's a cock, it's a rooster screen. Keep going, yes. keep punching, keep punching. A once in a lifetime opportunity. Actually, you guys can watch over oh, here yeah, if you yeah, want yeah. to. We can't see the video game. That's weird. Here, over here, it's right over But here. the truest fighters can fight even while blinded. We learn this by watching Bloodsport, which we've all done. That's right. Kung Lei has just thrown powder into your face. How will you react? Ooh. Uh, Not a whole lot of movement. Both fighters standing their ground, strongly rooted, trying to fend attacks. They're up. Oh, we got some, got some movement here. Look out! Oh. Those are full of Dello. Oh, Careful! He has arms. It doesn't work. Oh, no. you gotta hold. You're too equally matched. Oh! oh throw lands. That's big damage. Yeah. Big grab. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the lizard! Not a high damage fight. This is a, a knife yeah. fight. They're both jockeying for position. A lizard, throw lizard. lizard blocked! Look out for the lizard! Oh, there it goes! Oh. And close proximity again. Ooh. Trying to arc those punches around the obstacles coursing through the arena. But time might be a factor. We might have a timer scan victory. Get closer. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Solid advice. Oh, that's time. Oh, Max Brass wins. <laughs> stunning. He has a stunning victory. The sold out crowd in Las Vegas is on their feet. Bye, Adam. Adam has left the stage, clearly. Distraught. Clearly frustrated with the outcome. <laughs> Sometimes your arms just aren't good enough. How'd you guys break it? You didn't do anything. Oh, what happened? Is it both. It's both. We want to be able to move the characters side to side. So you know you do this, right? Yeah, we do. Here. We're going to figure out how to move our characters here so that we can be, be even wild. better boxers. Yeah. Those are just training rounds. Why wasn't that working for us? <laughs> Wow. It's because we were holding it like controllers, not like idiots. So are you guys just going to play now, or? So do Bruce and I get to do this again? Because uh, we definitely All right. know to hold them like that. Now that uh, boxing commissioner's coming out and inspected the gloves, there's no horseshoes, there's no salt, there's no garlic. This is a totally legitimate boxing match. Never mind. Oh, you want to? Uh... I think they're restarting. They're going to do the match okay, over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, look, they're fair fighters here. This is what we do. We make sure it's a fair fight. It's clean. Adam's that's not right. wearing his be... wrist straps. Oh. Oh, wait. No, that's gone bad. Hold on. taking the stage again. Ignore the man on the stage. <laughs> Directly in the center of it. Everyone wants to play. Like, we like... <laughs> All right, here we go. Mizango versus Max Brass. Who will win when they're holding the controllers correctly? No, yeah, like that, like James. There you go. Keep those risks together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, both fighters have been inspected. The testicles are... Locked up, proper. Boxing gloves, the proper weight. Ooh. Oh. Block throw. Oh, we got ourselves a match. Throw of his own. Oh, a flurry of punches. Coming in at awkward angles. That can be tough to deal with. Oh, throw lands. Arm movement. Got the maraca technique coming up from Adam here. Oh, a bomb lands, too. Excellent spatial awareness. Another throw lands. 
This can be dangerous. Ooh. A flame punch. Mostly illegal, but somehow in Australia, it's fine. Oh, that might be it. Oh. That might be it. Get over Oh, here. it's very close. We're down to a sliver. Oh, another throw. Down to one hit. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is very close. Oh. Go. The tables have turned. I want to go back to the first one. The first one counts. <laughs> this is a joke one. Well, as I understand, we are now in best of... Yeah, you won. So there might be another match? Adam won. Hey! Adam's actually really good at arms. I've played him in arms before, and he beat me just soundly. So he's going he's gonna to win. He's probably going to beat Lawrence, too. Yeah, probably. Went next. Okay, so All now right, it's... Good luck, Bruce. You need to relearn the game the right way. We've arrived at the semifinals. Oh, we're not doing it again? To you, yeah. So the winner of the first match, Bruce Green, is now facing the winner of the second match, Adam Kovic, for the rights to face me for some reason. No. Oh? She, she won't get one. Do we have call-outs yes. on stage? Do we have runbacks happening right now? Perhaps. We'll see. Bruce, do you feel confident in this now that you know that you can move around the map? Absolutely, I do, James. I know how to move left, which is like this, and I know how to move right, which is like this. <laughs> Very it. good. I hate it. I'm a, I wish I had known to move left and to move right. These are techniques that take decades of training, ladies and gentlemen. Please appreciate them. Got a variety of gloves now. Demonstrating the variety that someone can establish a fighter with. Got Bruce, the try punch on both sides. Is that how boxing looks? Oh, yes. To you, okay. when you watch it. old Mike Tyson videos, does it look like that? <laughs> like he's playing with a yo-yo? <laughs> It's a lot of tiptoes. Bruce is doing Tai Bo. They're closing the gap, though. This is a. Uh, this is very intense. Appears to be a spurting vial. Very natural for boxing. Steroids have been dropped into the middle of the ring, and the fighters must race to it. Oh no! It looks like Bruce has a wrist cramp happening. James. Oh no! Ooh, massage the cramp. Get him on my, on my. Oh! Oh! What a, what a match. Adam's trying to close the distance here. Oh. Only to take one on the brain. Even with the wrist cramp and all, turn it around. Old fancy wrist, Bruce Green, at it again. But, oh, what is this, an injury? Oh no, Bruce, are you hurt? Oh. A sprained wrist, can he go on, ladies and gentlemen? This is, I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need some ice and some Ben Gay. We can only give you one of those three things. <laughs> Took me a minute, that was pretty funny. So now it's Bruce and Lawrence? So Bruce has gone through the grinder, but he has to face me. I'm fresh. Bruce has been taking hits all night. You can see it in his face. So uh, in his wrist. Lawrence is fresh, too. Keep that in mind. Bruce has already suffered a couple injuries. <laughs> I just looked out into the audience and saw Decker looking back at me. <laughs> <laughs> he created you. Did, you. did you see Grimo at all today? I saw him walking around. All right, here we go. Bruce is staying with Lola Pop. Who's Lawrence going to pick? I read that from here. Who's he going to go with? Is it going to be Masango? Is it going to be, uh, what was it, Max? Uh, Max some. Brass? Masango. Or uh, Coil. Dr. Coil? Springtron. All right, Lawrence, how are you feeling going into this? Good. Cool. I'm feeling great. How good? All right, this is going to be a good one. I've, uh, super okay. You were chosen to go directly to the final round because you're the quintessential gamer. So there's a lot riding on you here. No one's riding. All right, oh, goes immediately in with the throw. Lola Pop coming out strong. Oh, just a swarm of fists. Lawrence, very thorough in his strikes. Oh, his arm's broken. Nice block, Lawrence. What's going through your brain right now, Bruce? Punch, 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 punch! Another nice block. He's circling. He's trying to circle you with his snake arms. Amazing. Watch over those snake arms. Look at the slow movement. Oh. Bruce, you got to get a throw in there. Oh, no, he's broken his arm again. Bruce, these damage. a lot of damage. Are, they're insane. He got blown up by an electro bomb. Lawrence taking some, sh some sh uh, hits there to gain some ground. Still relatively close. Look, at, look at a shot of Bruce here. This form is incredible. Look at him. That's a boxer. <laughs> If I've ever seen one, that's a pro. All right, 
right, okay, it's moving Real slowly. proud of you, son. Watch out for the bomb. More health. Just a couple more punches. I like the cross there. He's coming at you, Bruce. Watch out. Okay. You closed that gap, Lawrence. Lawrence has, a, has some time here. He's got one hit to do something. He can't take any hits. But James, what if he does take a hit? He'll lose. That's it. Oh, man. Bruce, the underdog. Wow. Oh. Apparently, the character I picked only punches snakes that travel yeah. along the ground very yeah. slowly. Everybody knows that. That's Misango. It's true. As somebody who plays this game a lot, Ch I was very aware of that. Champ, champ, champ. What, what excuses are you not <laughs> making? Well, I really learned how to play the game. I played about seven hours last night, and I played 30 hours before that. I brought it over with me to Sydney. I learned, I don't know if you saw the patented technique. That's it. There it is. You see it. Will you, the people of Sydney, erect a statue in Bruce the Champ's honor? Look at that guy go. Look at him, folks. That's like a no. I didn't oh, look at that people. chili man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now, we, what do you want to do now? Well, we've already demonstrated how one person can put on a master class of arms play. But that's too easy, clearly. What if people were to share their arms? Two controllers, two <laughs> arms, makes sense, right? What about two controllers, four arms? That's right. Much like Pacific Rim, people will have to link minds and work together to fight each other. Where are we going to get all these arms, Lawrence? I don't know, Elise. If only, wait. What is this? <laughs> it seems that you, you figured out how to dive or whatever it's called. Drift? Uh, there we go. Oh, this is Rift, right? That's the wrong brand. Okay. <laughs> No, no, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. <laughs> They're in perfect sync. <laughs> they were thinking about childhood <laughs> memories or whatever. Oh, man. We're going to have so a now, real hard time when that sword comes out. <laughs> so we're going to have a 2v2 arms tournament, which means that two people will have to link up and play together to combat. Yes, you two, sure. Oh, we don't like touching each other. <laughs> yeah. we'll, just stand close. we'll have to get over our phobias of physical contact for just a little bit. So one, one, the right person will have the right arm, the left person will have the left arm, and they will have to fight together using nothing but their raw fighting intuition and pure spirit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> A mirror match of the millennium to see which Funhouse members are more simpatico. <laughs> That's doctor v. doctor. Sounds kind of like a lawsuit, but much more fun to watch. All right, and this is best of three, so there will be no excuses. No whiny losers complaining about snake punches. <laughs> ah, here we go. James Wright and Bruce Left versus Adam Wright and Elise Left. We've got a... An umbrella fist versus a spinny fist. Match of the millennium. I believe Odysseus wrote about this. Wait, no, Homer was the one who wrote it. Odysseus was the character. Never mind. People don't come to boxing commentary for literary references. Oh, lands a throw! And a throw is complicated because it requires the input of two people. Got a bomb, lands solidly. The Adam Elise team is in the life deficit, but anything can change. We've got some count-offs coming in from the Bruce and James team. Clearly, they're working on their teamwork. More of a silent intensity from Adam and Elise. They are doing great. Despite being one hit away from... Oh, they're landing some hits, though. Anything can change at any moment. The ball is taking the field. That could end the match. We're down into the red hill for both teams. Right? James and Bruce have taken the first round in this best of three match. We're going again. Best of three. I, Lawrence, I don't know if you realize how good I am at this game. I'm really, really good. You notice I coached James on that one. James, you see how I coached you? I did see how you coached me, coach. Thanks for coaching me, coach. Anytime, not coach. I, I, can, only, I can only agree. Like that. Ooh. Ooh. 
There's some grit in the teamwork, but somehow they can turn it to their advantage. Seems to Breeze land the first hit, but that doesn't mean anything in a game of arms. It could all be mind games, ladies and gentlemen, luring them into a false sense of security. Throwing wild punches, gauging out their opponents, finding their distances. It's a very intense game of chess. The creme de menthe has been dropped. A pur purple rain Gatorade. It's fairly even right now. Life meters are fairly accurate. Solid hit. Puts James and Elise only slightly behind. But it's still a very even match. Oh, the bomb is going to... Ooh! James and Elise take the bomb. It's like Bruce... Bruce and James are trying to time up their throw technique. <laughs> One arm down, can't throw with that. James and Elise slightly, slightly behind on health, but again, a few solid hits. Bomb has been dropped. Ooh. Both arms are down. James and Bruce are vulnerable, both in red health. Oh, KO. That's a 2-0 sweep for James and Bruce. But both matches were actually very close. That was extremely sporting. Opt to nurse their wounds and put raw steaks on their faces or whatever boxers do. Uh, I, sure? Yeah, let's do that. Who go now? Hey, left person. Hey, right guy. How's it going? Not great. That was my fault and your fault. That was my fault and, and your my fault. fault. Whose fault was it? Your fault. My fault. My fault. Your fault. That's why they lost. Remember, everyone, Lawrence is the quintessential gamer. You came up with that. But <laughs> it's true. But James and I, what are we? Quintessentially gay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna box. I can't. Look. I can't. Because it's because your sleeve fell. All right. Here we go. Uh, two grown men versus this. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of great teamwork over here, but I'm yeah. also seeing a lot of love. Uh huh. And their butts are touching. Right. So, we've seen a lot of strategy and a lot of lack thereof. True. Elise, who's going to win this match and why is it Lawrence? It's going to be Bruce and Lawrence and James. They're going to leave us, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Whoever wins, we all lose. That's absolutely true. We're, oh, we're, we're Bruce off with, to Bruce the races. With the limp left. He's got a hard limp left. Now, you may notice the strategy James and Bruce are employing. Do you, do you see this? They're still touching each other. Their pelvises are turning inward. Yes, while Is their hips to are anchor them? somehow going outward. Yes. Yes. Who's cheering for Bruce and James? Yeah. Now you do the other guy. Who is indifferent? And of course, Lawrence. Who's? Who's here only for Elise? And we got a lot of out of lovers in the house. But what about Elise? But what about Gus? That was a, that was a good one. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, there's a fight going on. Uh, one, two, three, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Slobber knocker. That was great. The guys. two defeat the one. Adam and I saw it all. I've seen it all, and I want and... to take it all back. <laughs> These men continue to hug in a very, like, safe and, like, Christian manner, which is good, <laughs> clean yeah. for the whole family. And James took off his wedding ring, and that's interesting. Usually he takes it off after 5 o'clock. <laughs> Elise, I have a question for you while this fight is going on. Who is watching your dog, Benson? Someone we found on the internet. Wow. And they only cost $20 a day, you say? More, I say. Wow. Are you at all 
concern what might be happening to your lovable dog, Benson, right now. No, because I'm heavily invested in this tournament at the moment, Adam. That's right, Elise, you are. <laughs> oh, Bruce, he's going to have some carpal tunnel issues because he's flicking that wrist more than the day he was born. Bruce and James, uh, who need a nickname now, Brames. Uh, Clever, Adam. What? Oh, Lawrence. Quintessential gamer, but... Unprecedented unpre fight. Wow. Wow, guys, how does that feel? We Eat that, not. kaiju scum. My wrist really hurts. But that's what makes you the champ, champ. Ooh. What? Huh? Maybe the touch of a friend and partner would provide some healing. He did it! Wow! Wow! Oh, my lips are starting to hurt, though. Ow! Ow! Why my ribs hurt? Oh, no. Bruce transferred his pain to James' face. Uh, I'll take it for you. Oh, wow. Witchcraft is real. <laughs> <laughs> Someone want a bag? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got bags. Wait a minute. Hold cool. on. Who's here for Elise? <laughs> hold on. Now, who's here for bag? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the same. <laughs> Right into the front row, wow. And over there. We got a lot of bags, so don't worry about it. You thought it was one, so, but then it was two. What's, uh, what do we want to do next? I'm glad you asked, James. Yes, the festivities, the events are not over yet. Are you prepared for the tournament and all tournaments? A non-stop cavalcade of forceful explosive KOs. That's right. One hit tournament featuring an entire list of talent from RTX Sydney that has not just been delivered me to this piece of paper. That's right, we have all of your favorite stars here to participate in a RTX-wide one-hit KO tournament, which means it's nothing but your favorite YouTube stars <laughs> punching each other to death, which is what we've all been waiting for, let's be honest. So we are about to start a series of one-hit KO matches. Nothing but the most tactical plays, high tension environments, what have you. I'm vamping. That wasn't obvious. Yes, let's. Oh, you're applauding for free things. Never mind. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, you know what? Enough. Enough of this. Enough of getting free things. You know who cares about free things? Let's see people play video games. You can cheer for free things. It's cool. Who doesn't like backpacks? So let's kick it off. I've got a, and I actually get to call whoever I want, whoever I want to come up to this stage. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's have, uh, let's have some people close to the family first. Let's have from Sugar Pine 7, Steven Suptic and James DeAngelis <laughs> up here to have a one hit knockout match in arms. There they are, brimming with confidence, ready for murder. Get in there, boys. <laughs> hey, Steven, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Great! And here's James, clearly ready to kill. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your murderers have taken the stage for this gala event at the Mandalay Bay. Uh, well, they're, they're scuffling. Just some pre-fight, you don't have to sit down. That's fine. I mean, you can if you really want to. It's... All right. That's right. I mean, the audience can't see you, but that's cool. Gentlemen, take your Joy-Cons. Hold them in the proper arms position. <laughs> oh. Yes. Wherever you like. Probably at that. Otherwise, you won't know what's happening. So this is how it works. We're going to iterate through all of the wonderful people that are attending RTX. Winner stays and loser goes home. Who will be alive at the end? Who will still be standing? Oh. Never. Not once. Stop it, Elise. <laughs> Jenga. So of this match, the winner will stay and a new challenger will rise to try and dethrone them from their one-hit KO throne. Uh, Steven's analyzing the controls there. Good idea. I thought he was texting. Every good boxer tries to familiar, familiarize themselves. Uh, 
It's thrash round. It's fine. It's a one, this is a one-hit KO, right, Lawrence? One-hit KO. The first competitor co to connect with their opponent in any way will win the match. Did you hear that, Steve? All you got to do is hit him once. Yeah, I heard it. Wrist traps. You know what? I'm rooting for you. Really? Why? I don't know. You don't got to want to block. Thanks. Just throw Bruce. punches. Don't worry about blocking. Just throw a punch. At least you have any questions you want to ask? Sugar Pine 7. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. I also want to know Get in there, if any kid. of it's real. I believe in you. You got chutzpah. And James Wait. taking the fighter's stance. Elise has a question for Sugar Pine 7. Action. What was it? Low. That's good. Any of it real? Below is, the, below is the is kill zone. Is any of Sugar Pine 7 real? Is keeping it real what? Never mind. I might want to pay attention. It's fake, obviously. Like you probably should really pay Don't attention. Don't fake. Watch out. You got to pick your, pick your gloves. Pick your gloves, just like in real boxing. Do you want the ones with the propellers or the missiles? Yeah. Rocket gloves, always very popular. Stop it, just press Doesn't matter. A lot of buttons getting hit right now. Press the buttons at the same time once. There, you there go. we go. And James, if you could hit, hit the buttons the on the top the same there. Time. Both of those. There we go. All right. All right. The first Thank round has begun. One, one hit. KO. One hit. Here comes James. Here comes James. Punch. James is rushing up. Here goes the throw. Oh, Steven Subtick wins. Steven is taking it. For some reason. He didn't punch. With a huge grab. Incredible, what a display of gaming talent and boxing uh, skill. Upset. Steven, right, how do you feel well, about your victory? How do you move forward? <laughs> well said. Mind games. James, you lost. <laughs> you Put your punch. controllers down. How does it you feel punch. to just keep falling <laughs> up? Oh, it's best of three, never forward? mind. I never yeah, figured it out. Punch. You punch with your hand. All right, well, James will have another, Wait, another what opportunity. Do you mean? He didn't He's yelling do anything. at somebody. Wait, are they, are they doing it again, Lawrence? You, you want to go now? Move forward? Oh, so you like lean to move forward, but you got a punch. Boxing isn't just this. You can't win a match like this. Well, Muhammad Ali. All right, it's on, it's on. Be careful. Here we go. There you go. Now you're boxing. And boxers are taking the field. James. Both know oh. adequately how to move now. Look at the dodges oh, by blocks. Steven. A blocks. A hit comes oh. in. Blocks the throw. Steven sucks another wins. match. Wins again. That's a perfect. Five golden letters. Keep it in the arms. <laughs> <laughs> Having a panic attack. James is playing his, out. Or sorry. He's so is playing his total knowledge of arms. Out of five. James, I'm sorry. You've lost. Oh. A valiant effort, though. Hey, James, can I just say your stamina was on point? Okay, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. I'll have to go Don't drink his worries away. Oh, oh, you're oh, practicing? Oh, going for it? Sure. Just See, get that movement learning. down. Look, he's you're learning. boxing nobody, Steve. You better get someone else up here before he learns too much. I agree. It's time to bring up the next competitor. Look at his intensity. I know, Steven wants to win. He thinks he's so street right now. Well, let's bring up the next competitor, someone local. Let's bring up Joel Doucher. Boy, I hope I said yeah. that name right. Steven, what do you think of Joel Doucher? Is that his real name? All right. I don't know. There he is, though. We've got a real axe murderer on the stage now, staring each other down. Hey, oh, man. Hey, man. Oh, the intensity is clear. What do you do? <laughs> a podcast. You bone girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not very frequently. Apparently podcasting doesn't provide much of that. You're furry. <laughs> Don't let him talk to you that way. Settle it with your arms. It's furry versus twink, the showdown we've all been waiting for. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of talking trash here on the stage tonight. Steven and Joel, you could see the rage in their eyes. Oh, yes, burning. I don't want to be winning this. <laughs> Steven has trained his entire life to maintain the championship, and he just said he will hold it forever. <laughs> you gotta watch out for Joel. He's a big Luigi fan, and we know what they're like. All right, here we go. One hit KO. We're back at it. One shot, Steven. That's all you got. Just like Eminem. Oh, oh he lands the throw. Gets the grab right. again. Steven something with the grab. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm gonna the be face super of a honest. satisfied competitor. I just want to fucking go home. <laughs> I'm gonna be super honest with you, Steven. I didn't really want to win this either, so uh, it's a battle of losers here. <laughs> There was a point right after that match started where I accidentally knocked the controller out of his hand. <laughs> he didn't have it for half that match. All right, well, is it best? To, it's best out of three? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's best of three? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, so best that of means five. there's still time. Oh, okay. I'll just hit rematch, whatever. All right, just hit rematch. That was a, good, that was a gimme, I guess. Okay, so oh, you it was, still have a chance. Yeah. Okay, this is actually for real, I guess. Look, Steven knows what he's doing. Okay, he's, here we faking, go. Okay. he's faking it, just like Sugar Pine 7. We're starting for real now. <laughs> best of three. That was just a, a practice round. Steven Suffolk's already won one. Oh! oh. It has landed! You're supposed to... No. Joel takes the first oh, round in this no. right, okay. match. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. 
All right, okay, he's feeling good. He's gonna follow that momentum into this next. Step one hit. All right, this is for all the one marbles. to one. This is it. This decides the whole deal. <laughs> Who will swing first? Watch out, he's Who will in. swing? Oh, nice dodge. It's dense. Ooh. Why is he turned into a Ooh. fire guy? How did you turn and into that's a it. fire, dude? You got like flames on your head. Uh, Steven something lost. All right. Steven something lost. Steven something lost. All right, well. He's heartbroken, oh, ladies he's and gentlemen. Around. There he goes, your champion. There goes my hero. The people's champion, Steven Watch Subtick. him as he goes. All right. Well, there's well. a new champion of the people, and it is Joel. <laughs> that, thanks, guys. I feel like I'm definitely the people's choice here. Steve, Steven who? Subtick. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Subtick, yeah, that was his name. Well, let's bring up the next competitor, because no champion can remain champion forever unchallenged. Joel will have to defend his title against a Rooster Teeth Luminary. And you know he's angry, because he's always frowning. Oh. That's right, Gus Cirola. Oh. Oh. Please take the stage. Hit him high, hit him high, hit him high, hit him low, hit him low. And show poor Joel the meaning of your ire. Look at that. Gus, what's your arms experience like? Extensive. Ex I'm just, like the extending arms. I, 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 I'm just going to say this so all of the competitors can hear it. The little black part, that goes forward. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Now we're, now we're arms. What is this, amateur hour? Oh! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, if all you'd right. like to change fighters, please do so. Yeah, do or you need to pick a specific character? He needs to oh, pick it. Oh. He goes back to the menus. Oh. He wants to see what they got. What's over here? One hit, Gus. So make it count. I, that's what they call me, old uh, One Punch Sorola. That was my nickname in, uh, in high school because they would punch me once. And <laughs> I would, yeah, I mean, that was it. Who is he? Who's he going to go? A lot of deep Trump. wounds coming to the surface here today, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is such at an arms tournament. We all know that. Yeah, Two Springtrons going against each other. No advantages here. Gus Sorolla's had his ticket punched a lot, guys. I don't know if you know what that means, but it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I, I fade in and out of consciousness quite a bit. It's, uh, it's really difficult. All right, good luck, guys. Here we go. One punch to win them all. A different glove loadout. Ooh, oh, good blocks. Good move. Oh, oh, my God. Gus wins one. Wow, that's the first one. That's OK. A quick flurry, and Gus Sorolla proves his superiority. What was going through your head, Gus? Uh, just don't choke. Was, uh, you, you didn't choke. That's only, it's only one, though. Yeah. One match hangs in the balance. Game. Smash point for Gus. He Whoa. throws punches. Watch He's dodging. Watch Moving left and right. Oh. 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 Did you see that loop? Yeah, it was, A little loop-de-loop. 100% -loop. on purpose. I, I'm great at this game. I, I was looking straight, and you hit me from the side. Wow. Is that cheating, Gus? Yeah. That's total cheating. I think I want the judges' review. It's, it's match it's point. Here we go. Go land it. Oh, oh, disqualified! Oh, can't save Who's him? trying to pause the game? The pause can't save him from the throw. A bad man or pause trying to throw Gus off his game, but it didn't work. That means Gus wins, right? That means Gus wins! How excited are you to stay on stage? I'm, 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 I'm ready. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Steven Subtick's uh, reign so far. Well, let's well, give Steven's, it up for our former champion, yeah, Joel Ducher. Oh, like, I Thank you, Joel. Thank oh, I you, see, Joel. I see. Where did Adam go? His streak. Yeah, Steven doesn't have a streak. Him, That's in his underwear. Uh, giving out bags, maybe? No? No, he's right. gone. Adam's gone. Wow. If anyone can give us details on where Adam is, please tweet at us. But the show can't stop for one man because the bloodlust of the audience is clearly not satiated. They need to see combat, death, and murder. And that's what we're going to give to them. So Gus Rolla must now face someone from a foreign land. That's right, let's bring up Lewis. Lewis. Yes, drink it in. Clearly enjoying the admiration and adulation of the audience. Oh. <laughs> he looks totally at ease. I do have arms, so I feel like I'm overqualified for this game. He's, He's got you there, Gus. Holding the controllers back. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not too worried. He's straightened out now, though. Ooh. All right, who are you going to pick? We got this is the character Save selection. Save it for the in, gentlemen. Very intense. Who are we going to go with? Ooh, Helix. Look at him, he's all jelly. 
Okay. It's Jellyman versus Springman. Any Gus, strategy you have a natural fear of Jellyman. How is this going to play into the game today? I just got to stay out of my own head. I got to focus on the task at hand. Got to watch my left. Make sure he doesn't take advantage of that. Okay, oh, quick throw. Good dodge. dodge. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Gus wins. Dodge. Gus wins. Uh, that was jelly, a... jelly is one of my top five fears. Jelly. <laughs> Gus clearly letting his... His fears right, fuel his early victory. Here we go. He's up one match. Staying on the other match side. Match point, Gus Rolla. Using the punch. Oh! Smash. Oh, another oh, throw lands. Unbelievable. Gus with the second win in a row. Oh. He ties Steven Septic's streak. I thought that was only in the uh, crotch under. Oh, that's right. It's only in his underwear. I apologize, everyone. Any final words? Jelly. Jelly. Thank you. Let's give it up for our fierce competitor, Lewis. Goodbye, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. There's a whole cast of future losers waiting to come out and be destroyed by me, so uh, let me know uh, which one of them's next. I didn't know Achievement Hunter was back there. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Man, at least burning them up. I love those guys. I'm so nice to them. Oh, but the mayhem doesn't end there. No, we have a nonstop series of fine young men to feed into this grinder of combat. So let's bring up the next Sounds fresh. Sounds kind of hot. Yes, the next fresh, taut young fellow, primed and oiled. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I, I want to keep going, but I don't know where it's going to go. Anyway, let's bring up our next competitor. Oh, wait, that's you. You're already here. Yeah. Am I fighting myself? You could? No, not quite. Not quite. Sorry. Am I fighting myself? Our next competitor. Here, Gus. What? So I'm calling the king of randomization. That's right. Let's bring up him now. Bradley Jolly. Brad. It's a surly man versus a twitch emote. Who will come out on top? I have high hopes for Brad here. Just suiting up now. How many, how many gaming tournaments have you won in the past? He looks like he's never won one. How many gaming tournaments have you won in the past? A couple. A couple. One or two a couple of years ago. Okay, well, maybe we'll make it one or one today. Because we're not going to win. This is the last one. So. And when I win, what do I get? Do I get to keep my arms? No, you don't get anything. You get to go home. You, we will uh, dress you in chrome, and you shall take your arms to the gates of Valhalla, Gustavo. <laughs> And they, you shall be shiny and chrome armed. That doesn't sound so great. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Both Opening up on our best of three tournament. Both competitors, good blocks. Oh, we oh good throw. throws. Good oh, hits. Oh, the Oh, wow. That's the goal. Gus opens up with an early victory. He went with the, the really cowardly defensive yeah. maneuver. Didn't believe in your own abilities. That's really shameful, honestly. He's talking like he trash. he saw a jelly man. All right, here we right, go. Here we go. Gus goes right in. Ooh, Two punch. Try and go for the throws. Oh, Doesn't land. A lot jump. of jumps dodging those throws. Oh, oh every hit dodged perfectly. Yeah. There it is. Oh. Gus Sarola on fire. What, what an amazing match. performance by both fighters, but Gus comes out on top. Gus, how you feeling? I'm great. Is that the best they can do? Dodge and block? Is that all they've got? Yeah. Oh, my I mean, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a one hit knockout. It's all about offense. Let's listen to Gus talking trash to my Bradley. Gosh. Brad, any Man, I didn't realize. All in good spirits. It's all good fun. It's all good fun. Ah. Man, it's all right. That's just, loser talk. Are being salty at yourself? <laughs> to be salty at himself? Well, salty or not, he's the one who's still up here. And Brad, I'm afraid you're off the stage. Whoa. Thank you, Brad. But thank you. Thank you. Big round of applause for Brad. Thank, thank you, Bradley. You. Great work out there. Gus, that's uh, how many wins now? Great job. I, I believe uh, we're waiting on the official results, but I believe that's three. I believe that's three in a row for Gus Sarola. Now, Gus, we know you're a much-loved man across the whole United States, Canada, Europe, Australia. How does it feel to beat these other people that are way below you in just the general rungs of the social hierarchy? It's uh, really hollow, really unsatisfying. I uh, can't wait for a real competitor to show up to really challenge me. Lawrence, do we have a real competitor for him? We have several. We have several, so if our champion's bloodlust is yet unsated, it will be soon. So let's bring up another competitor from foreign lands, hailing all the way from England, I think. 
Let's bring up Duncan. Duncan. Now, Gus, backstage before the tournament, you were telling me that you are in the best shape of your life. How is that playing into your performance today? Uh, it's really uh, key. I think uh, it's all about being in shape, the physicality of the game, and I'm capitalizing on it. And arms. I, two, <laughs> oh. Also allergies. You heard it here first. It's the nerdly side is uh, still fighting its way out. I notice you've chosen to play with two arms and not one. A tactic? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, two arms is better than one, as the old saying goes. People do say that. It's true. All right, the match is good. Oh. Okay, well, all right, yeah, the two it was over before it began, one. ladies and that gentlemen. Was... As Gustavin said, the match is won on the training grounds, not in the ring. And Gus has clearly put in the hours. But these competitors are rearing to go. We're in the match two. The fists are flying. Oh, Gus no. pro. Unbelievable. And just he, like that. Duncan was there, and now he's gone. My goodness. You can't write this story, folks. You just can't. The Cinderella story. <laughs> Bye, Duncan. Thank you, Duncan. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Duncan. Gus, do you ever get tired of winning? Uh, like I say, it's a, it's a marathon. It's an endurance race. Uh, I just got to keep enduring, got to keep uh, meeting each foe, each challenge as they present themselves, and just hope that uh, I can outlast. Audience, do you still want Gus here on the stage? See, that, that makes all the difference. Now I'm able to give 110%, really push through uh, the paradigm. All right, well, we're going to watch out for Gus. Maybe his uh, psychology is cracking right now. He's, uh, he's at four wins, and that's tough. That's tough to hold up. I you take know. a few blows to the head, uh, then it, you know, the whole world gets a little swimmy. <laughs> that's also when you drink, but... Yeah. I got to wonder about the organization of this tournament. He could win the whole way until the end, and then someone beats him and they win? That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Due to the impeccable nature and layout of this tournament, if someone beats Gus, that means they're also beaten everyone that Gus has beaten. There. Thus proving that they are the ultimate arms champion. There. Uh, you know, neglecting any wrist injuries or possible, like, forearm strain, what have you. So Gus has only one competitor to go to run the entire Yogscast ah. crew. Let's see if he can do it. Let's bring up his next competitor, Jin. Please take the stage. Hit Jin. Him high, hit him high, hit him high, hit him high, hit him low, hit him low. Taking the stage with a confident shrug. <laughs> Does he have the metal to test our current reigning champion? I've seen Gus be pretty whatever today, too, so let's not count him out. I've been known to be indifferent. All right. What do you think you're going to try here? How do I hold the controllers? Oh, boy. All right. And away he goes. Yeah. That part there to there. Yep. Okay. And then you just start punching, honestly. Maybe this is just an act. A mind games. Not an act. It's not an act, he says, but maybe that's the act. Oh. It's, 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 it's nothing like but Hoffman. acts. You don't know. It's a multi-layered chess match between these two fine competitors as we head into our first match. Gus Rella versus Jin. We got a block. And now quickly. Oh, oh the crowd yeah. lands, and Gus takes the first match. How does he do it? That's OK. OK. All right. Before you get into the next one, you're down one. How are you going to rally? I watched Real Steel three times, and I'm still losing. Real Steel is a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. In the round two, it's match point for Gustarola. Oh, he's oh, oh my goodness. It connects with his Strong foot. recovery. Very nice. Even a god king can bleed. My huge one on one. The best of me. All right, here we go for all the marbles. Match point. Will Gustarola be dethroned? No! Oh, punch right through. <laughs> Great and job. Gus down to his fiercest competitor yet. Meaning that Gus is now ace to the entire Yogg's cast team. How are you feeling? Really bad. <laughs> what, what was his name again? Jin. Jin, that's right. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. No, yeah, thank you for coming up. Thank you for coming again. Excellent out. work. Excellent yes, work you. there. I think you may have shook him. Oh, there we go. I think he got shook. Thank you very much. A worthy opponent who finally touched me. Thank you, Jin. Audience, how do you feel about Gus now? It's getting bigger, Gus. Well, yeah, everyone. it's, it's like everyone wants to jump on a winning team. They see where the... The tides are going. Get on board. I, for one, I pull for the underdog. So now I'm voting for your next opponent, which is? The next opponent to enter the ring 
This is a real Mr. T archetype, if you will. A hungry dog. You've been living the lap of luxury, the champion's lifestyle, sipping champagne, working out in your tiled, marbled gyms. You have a robo-butler. You have a robo-butler <laughs> serving you warmed butter, because that's what you drink for some reason. But your next competitor might take it from you. Trained on the streets, cut his teeth, born a poor black child, Nate Bramley! Ooh. Yay! Hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. <laughs> I'm a little worried. He had some confidence there. He does, and he's got a real cool tattoo. <laughs> got some deep squats, <laughs> wide hip, fle hip flexors. And I hear Bruce has a lot of money riding on Hold him. On, let's get a mic down there. Uh, no, that's on cryptocurrency, Elise. Wow, you hear that flexibility? <laughs> he's ready to punch. It's like five rubber bands stretching to their limit. All right. Who or a leather jacket rubbing well, against itself. You don't need knees here today, that bend, Gus. You just need arms. That sort of bend. You notice Gus is sticking with Pring Springtron, right? He's, he's staying with me. Don't, uh, don't mess with the winning formula. Don't mess with the winning formula. I like that. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Everyone's picking the regular gloves. I guess. All right. Just All right we're in the first match now. Oh! Oh, my. And a quick punch for eight. Wow. And for Did the first time, that? Did you right throw in the that? crotch. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. I got in my own head. The psychology just got to me. Okay. Well, there's plenty of time. Let's see. Gus is down one for the first time in his life. Zol there he is. It's all tied up. Just punch one and one. Ahead. That's okay. Just fierce competitor is pushing <laughs> Gus to his He's limit. He's a pro. He's a pro, people. We're back into it, ladies and gentlemen. What a dodge! Oh my God! What a dodge! What a dodge! I got his head. Instead of punching straight ahead, move to the left and punch. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that. You can't. You can't write this. Yeah. From the mind of a genius, move left and punch. <laughs> I believe that was Muhammad Ali. Maybe originally coined that one. Let's get a round of applause. Let's give it up for Nate. Yeah, Thank for you, Nate. Nate. One after another falls into this fierce competitor's jaws. It's sharp. How many salivating. people are back there? There are only two oh, remaining. My God. Are Bruce. you sweating? Bruce lost a lot of crypto that round. Oh, uh, no, that's just because Bitcoin went down, at least. Oh, right. Well, in the ring, anything can happen. There's always a puncher's chance, as they say, which I think was supposed to be the subtitle of the fifth, sixth Rocky movie. Got rewritten. No one cares about that. It was optioned for a long time. Well, let's bring up the next competitor. Gus clearly not happy defeating everyone in the room. Has it not been enough? It's never enough when you're at my level. <laughs> okay. Get on my level, that's it. <laughs> Is that something you ever thought you'd say? I say it to myself all the time oh, in the yeah. mirror. It's the first time saying it in front of other okay. people. Let's bring up the next competitor, the penultimate challenger to topple you from your throne. Jadison Bailey! Jackson! Jackson! Jackson, known for his arms, has yes, quite the yes. show. Oh, is that a K? Did I just completely slaughter your name? Oh, okay. You, you did it good. You got me. Jackson. Okay, Jackson. Whoops. Wow. That's a K. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Think about switching up that, that character? Yes. I, I want to, but I can't. It's been too successful so far, and I got to stick with that. It's like washing your jock strap mid season. You just don't do it. Or ever. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, if Lola it's brown, Pop. it's down. Lola Pop was very successful in some of the early tournaments, so let's see if she can come back today. Bit of trivia I've never worn a jock strap. Maybe oh, that was fun facts with Gus, everyone. How does he do it? <laughs> I see How many people fighting to update the wiki. All right, here we go. Moving in, the dodge, the punch. Oh! Oh no, Gus. I'm really, oh, I'm really worried about you, buddy. I wasn't expecting the block. That was a well-timed block. I thought that was going to be the winner. And <laughs> unpredictable clown arms. Here we go. We got punches flying. Gus again, moving to the left, employing his favorite strategy, but it hasn't won the day yet. Fist clashing in the center. Oh, he's closing the in. Punch. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, Gus. action, Jackson. How do you feel? I was so close. I could see the mountaintop. Wow. Wow. Uh, Gus. Yeah, give it up for Gus, everybody. Give it up job, for Gus, Gus, everybody. Unbelievable. 
The person who defeated me better win it all. That, that's the plan. That's the plan. Wow, Jackson, how are you feeling? I'm full of beans. Uh, you heard it here, folks. So are we all. Full of beans. <laughs> well, it's not over for you yet. If I recall, there's still one competitor left. There is one and only one competitor left. Which means this is the decisive fight to prove that that person has beaten everyone here. <laughs> So let's bring up the final competitor. Give it up, please, for Joel Zamet. Yeah. Joel, thank you for joining us. Uh, how are you feeling right now after you saw the champion topple? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Like, fuck. Cool. My boy. Jackson, how does it feel knowing you have to kill your best friend to win it all? Oh. He's my boss, too. Yeah, it's good. Sorry. If you anything, it's a long time coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better throw this. <laughs> Wait, so is his job, is Jackson's job on the line right now? I'd say yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't seem fair at all. It's uh. worth the risk. <laughs> all right, well. As we all remember, my job was on the line earlier tonight when I had to face off against Bruce. And we saw me throw that pretty handedly. Throw? At least made the right choice. <laughs> all right. Well, should we go for it all tomorrow? You're holding the Is controllers the wrong? Do you want a little... The black is like that. There, there we go. go. Out. Black out. All right, like don't forget that. those wrist straps, folks, because things are going to get intense for yes, two that's correct. and a half seconds. It doesn't look like you have your wrist straps on either. When I want to put those on. Oh, he says no. All right. Live dangerously. Live dangerously. All right. And this is your boss, Jackson, right? He's loose. Ah, oh, can't do... Hmm? Hold on. So yeah, pick the... Master Mummy over here. He picked the mummy. All right. He wanted... Mommy never lose. Uh, have you ever played this game before? No. That's what I thought. All right. Well, perfect that you're in the finals. <laughs> this is the world championship match. Here we go. Top arms player on the entire planet will be decided right now. Just swing him. He's already throwing. All right. Punches Whoa! are being thrown. There's the grab. The throw has landed, and Jackson That's takes one. the first round. That's as quick as it goes, Joel. Jackson easily takes the first round because Joel doesn't know what he's doing. I never know what Jackson, I'm Jackson, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You're one win away from being the definitive. Oh, you're going. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Jimmy oh, 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 my God. Joel takes it. Joel takes it. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1 okay. one, one now. Joel, how are All you right. feeling? Uh, very confident. I think I've mastered this now. So, uh, All right, here All right, it comes. All right, world Championship the match for the marbles. The last round determines everything. For the fate of the world. Who will take it? There it is. And that is it's it. over. Jackson takes it. Jackson wins. Jackson wins! He wins the tournament and he loses his job! Joel, what are you gonna uh, do? Supposed to say fire him. Oh, well. Well, congratulations, I think, to all of our competitors, right? Let's give it up yeah. for Joel, by the way. There goes Joel off the stage. Good night, Joel. Wallow in your tears. These incredible men and women, mostly men, have sacrificed themselves for you and your entertainment. So, yes, let's give them all a round of applause for their incredible performances today. And Jackson, thank you so much for your incredible performance. It wasn't deserved. <laughs> if you had one piece of advice to give to all the, all the young, young men and women out there training to be arms champions, to be like you someday, what would you tell them? Uh, wait until you're the last two people called up. <laughs> Get lucky, fight your boss. <laughs> Inspiring words. <laughs> thank you, Jackson. And I think that'll just about do it for our Worldwide Arms Tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for attending today. Where's Adam? Yeah. He pieced out real hard. <laughs> Adam, wherever you are, our hearts and pr prayers are with you. Hopefully doubled over on a toilet somewhere, because that sounds funny to me for some reason. But thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for withstanding the nonstop brutality that you have seen today. And, you know, ARMS is pretty fun. Check it out. Thank you for making RTX so special for us. Yeah, thank you, guys. We hope it was special for you. Thank you for coming to RTX Sydney 2018. I think this is it for us. They're putting us yep. back in a crate and sending us to US of A. And we all pile in the bus, and <laughs> then we all go back to the USA. But thank you again. It was in the water. And uh, we really appreciate it. We hope to see you all next year. And yeah. from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for watching our content. We really appreciate it. Thank you, it. guys, so much. Yeah, thank you.
Hi, everybody. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, as far as I, I know. I think that's it. Thank you, guys.